Oh, here he comes. Oh my god. But the wall of flesh, look at him. He's showing off something. Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome to an interesting Terraria video here today. We are in 1.4, checking out the Chinese sprites that the mobile version of Terraria has. If you have the mobile version and if you're in China or just have the Chinese version of Terraria, mobile Terraria, then you will notice that some sprites, let, let, let me just exit to the main menu here. You'll notice that some sprites are different. So shout out my boy here. I don't know if that's his actual username i'll leave the link and everything but uh my boy here do g terraria chinese sprites edition view pack info bro these sprites slap yes they do so let's check them out so i was told why a decent amount of sprites are changed is because something about video game laws or laws in china that don't prohibit gore and stuff like that to be shown in video games something like that don't don't quote me on that that's what i heard that's what i've been told so we're gonna check out some of those things today we're gonna start with the bosses and as we can see already gore being taken out look at that suspicious looking eye that that thing really does look suspicious now it looks like it has a bunch of moss you know that episode of spongebob where they were drinking kelp shakes and they all turned mossy or kelpy i guess this is this is what happened to my boy the eye right here yeah let's go ahead let's check out the eye let me go ahead and make it nighttime all right i got my little golem light pet here this dude's the same size as me boom let's see the eye cthulhu chinese mobile terraria sprite edition that's a whole lot of words where you at oh here he comes oh my god look at him this dude looks cool as hell he looks like a uh something you would find under water rather than uh something you'd find torn out of a giant deity's eye but yeah as you can see the servants are also green let me zoom in here the servants are also green the eye itself obviously got a little mossy feel to it uh more of a cthulhu like water-based cthulhu type feel so let's go ahead let's let's hurt it enough to where it switches forms but don't kill it and look at that this thing is sweet this thing is sweet this might be cooler than the regular terraria sprites but yeah let's go ahead let's take them out so there's obviously going to be more than bosses but yeah we're gonna check out most of the bosses first most of the goer related bosses there might be a couple things we miss wouldn't be a gamers video if i didn't miss something uh but for example there's some like armor changes for example some of the boss mass have changes obviously because of gore and uh, a bunch of other things but yeah let's continue going through bosses here starting with the next boss the brain of cthulhu and as we can see the bloody spine does not look like a spine at all that looks like just straight up i don't know jello some jello seeping out let's see what it looks like all right i had a crimson world because fuck me so we're gonna go ahead and make or i went ahead and made my own little biome here and let's see the brain of cthulhu which might not be a brain anymore all right where you at where you at oh what the hell i mean it kind of looks like a brain but it's definitely a jellyfish more than it is a brain now but yeah it looks cool i want to see it in its second form it looks very jellyfish like i don't know maybe it has a different name on the chinese version maybe it's like jellyfish of cthulhu who knows but yeah let me go ahead and kill all these things here is that it did I kill all the creepers? Nope, one more. Boom. Ew, what the hell? Someone told the brain of Cthulhu to bust it wide open. But yeah, let's, let's let's kill it off here. It's it's kind of ugly. It's cool and ugly at the same time. I could appreciate the whole new sprite, but uh, it's still kind of ugly. Oh, hold up. The trophy. We got to see the trophy in action here. Let me just grab a random wall. I don't know why I chose this. Honestly, can't even tell. You know, might as well while we're at it. See the... Uh, i cthulhu one so the i cthulhu one is just straight up green okay interesting that's that's they didn't really do much to it they just put green on it all right so we're gonna be checking out skeletron next this is another boss that has a very big difference let's go ahead let's make it nighttime here hopefully we can still see and I'll talk to the old man curse it up oh my god let me get a zoom in here so skeletron still got the blood shooting out but that's only because you know everything's not the same but skeletron is straight up like a wooden creature if y'all ever played Remnants Fallen Ash or Ashes of the Fallen, whatever the hell that game is called, then he looks like a boss you would fight in that game. But he looks cool as hell. I guess bones are considered gory? I guess. I kind of, that's like a part of life. You're, you probably eventually will turn into bones unless you get cremated or something. But yeah, Skeletron, really cool really dead now as you can see here we got skeletron's mask and look at this this mask is sick as hell we got skeletron's trophy here that's what it looks like very very cool i really can't tell what it is all right here we are in hell we're gonna sacrifice the guide he's done nothing but good things for us but fuck him anyways right so yeah the wall of flesh oh you, you can even see it on the maps he got a little different coloring but the wall of flesh look at him this is cool as hell the wall of flesh straight up got a, a glow up like my man's went through some stuff 
and he came out better now the hungry still look the same i don't know if that's how it is in the mobile version i don't know if i got any chinese terraria mobile players out there you know any people from china or just to have the chinese version of terraria on their phone you let me know if everything's accurate because the person that just remade the textures and you know sort of ported them over here he did his best he may have not ported everything but yeah as we can see he got a little like obsidian and magma color to it it's a little, a little hard to see let me zoom in a little bit a little hard to see but a little purple and orange going on that's the color scheme and it looks cool as hell so far it's my favorite one next to skeletron in terms of makeover so yeah i'll check out all the masks later but for now since i already have been showing them off let's go ahead and show the wall flesh trophy there it is don't know what that is don't even remember what the wall flesh trophy is in vanilla and then since we're at it i guess just show off everything else skeletron prime that looks exactly the same and then the twins is the other boss that i know for sure that has a makeover uh oh here you go retinazer got a little orange to it and spasmatism got a little blue to it i like those colors that's a that's a cool color scheme but yeah since we brought up those two and skeletron prime let's go ahead and check both of them out now all right let's start with the twins i'm pretty excited to see these two Ooh, more underwater looking creatures here can't really tell the color if i'm being honest what, what color are they is my armor like messing something up with color i don't think it is i don't know but we can see the blue we can see the orange yeah i think my armor is highlighting them doesn't it i don't use this armor set ever all right but yeah let's go ahead let's uh send them into second form here probably could have got a better weapon for this but uh whatever and boom bada bing we got the spasmism here it looks really cool kind of has like scales mechanical scales same thing with retinazer here mechanical scales with the orange and blue i like them they look cool different color scheme better than the originals in my opinion all right next up we got skeletron prime kind of excited to see this one because if skeletron is really dope now what will skeletron prime look like oh okay we got we got a different look here it pretty much is the wooden skeletron as mechanical and metallic we can see the sort of the wood wooden arms here bone arms whatever and then he's got the little twigs poking out of his head i don't know what's up with his eyes he's got like red eyebrows i don't know it's kind of cool it's kind of weird how he's like keeps on like opening his mouth he's got a mohawk when he does his little spin very very nice or less of a mohawk more of spiky hair but like he's chewing something i don't know five gum something trident all right so i think we saw all the bosses moon lord might be different but uh this world just won't let me summon it in because i don't i don't think i've progressed enough in this world it's just a new world that i made so if i figure out that moon lord has this thing i'll put it up on the screen or something but yeah let's see the mask we haven't seen yet brain of cthulhu mask let me zoom in here looks cool looks like a jellyfish or some sort of other pink body part inside of us we got the skeletron prime mask just looks like the regular non-prime mask just more metallic we got the twins mask which looks cool as hell we got the wall of flesh one also looks cool as hell and we got the eye of cthulhu one which looks like i just put some green dye on it now this is the part where i don't know what else is different i'm assuming any gore enemies or enemies that look gory they would look different i'm assuming but at the same time i don't know what the creator of this texture pack is added in so let's go through couple things here and if i spot anything different you know then uh obviously we'll check it out so i'm assuming all the flesh stuff is different here yeah flesh platforms those look the same so far but i don't know that might be a 1.4 edition we got flesh blocks let's go ahead let's see these just the nice purple color flesh has always been uh, an ugly block in terraria but we got that nice purple orange color that the wall of flesh also was and then of course all the furniture which looks delicious so would love to take a bite out of it the flesh knuckle here they look orange now very very interesting uh i just have flesh typed in and we're just seeing whatever's fleshy pops up the uh, cloning of that also looks very very different as we can see here now obviously there's some enemies that i probably just won't be able to spawn in or see and they might be different because shout out terraria's quote-unquote creative mode totally gives us full access to all creative things just kidding can't even spawn in enemies <laughs> Like these things, I feel like, are these not gore themed? They look gore themed. I feel like anything crimson themed would be different. Would they not blade tongue? Like, I don't know what's in Terraria Mobile, but uh, I would assume most of the things that are flesh-like and not in 1.4, uh, they would definitely be different. Shroomerang, this is an actual thing. Is there a mushroom boomerang in Terraria? I never knew that, in 1.4 at least. But yeah, I think we saw the major differences here. We got the shield of 
Cthulhu. This thing's green now, which is uh, this is kind of funny. I wonder if the uh, optic staff they're different color. Yeah, definitely a different color. Okay. But yeah, I feel like we've seen a majority of the things that have been changed. If there is things that I miss, maybe I'll pop them up on the screen here at the end. And it, I think it's very cool that China does have different sprites and that people went out of the way to make their own sprites for that specific version. I don't know who exactly made the sprites, but shout out to them. But I mean, I guess they had to if they want to release the game and have the game playable over there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to check out my Twitch. We're going to be returning to Twitch and streaming there again. I'm going to probably be streaming a lot in the next couple of days. Uh, I've just been taking a little break in terms of making content, you know, just to hang out with friends, just to just to live life, even though we're still in a pandemic. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Become a channel member. Check out the sprites. Link below. Shout out to the dude for making them. Bye. -bye.